still super hot. So uh, if, you, if anyone remembers, I did like a peanut noodle dish a while back. Um, that was a cold dish. I want to update that um, just to show like a, maybe a more efficient way to do it and a way you don't have to turn as many things on and just like, yeah, just a quicker way to do it. Also, this is a spicy version with a little bit of a Korean flair. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, I got some water heating up that I'm just going to uh, bring to a boil. And then I have vermicelli noodles, just dry vermicelli. Um, I'm just going to pour this over. I just want to make super simple, just noodles. Um, this is like comes together as quick as like instant ramen or like the spicy Korean noodles you buy the instant packs. It'll come together just as quick. Um, but if you do want to add some vegetables or something like that, what I would say is just boil them in the water for two, three minutes. If you want to add some tofu, add them, let them cook for about two, three minutes and then pour it over. But we're just going to do it super, super simple today. Show you how to make the sauce, show you how to prepare the noodles. Um, the sauce is really easy. It's just a blended sauce. All you need is a blender. Um, we're going to do like raw aromatics. A lot of times you would cook these, but I'm just going to do them raw. So I have like a quarter of a shallot, one clove of garlic. And I'm gonna grate some ginger. A little trick with ginger is, uh, it's if you keep it in the freezer, obviously it doesn't go bad that way. And then when you grate it, it's really easy to grate, and you get like all the juice of the ginger. Um, and it doesn't like sometimes freezing stuff like messes with the flavor of the freshness. But with ginger, it just doesn't do that. It just still punches just as good as fresh. You want about like the same ratio wise. I like to think of everything when I cook in. Ratios more than like amounts, because ratios will help you actually learn to cook, um, as opposed to just reading a recipe, doing it once, and you didn't retain any information. So I'll do about the same amount uh, of garlic. This ginger, pop this back in here. And then because I want this to blend really nice, I'm not gonna put any of the thicker ingredients in first. I'm just gonna do the like kind of water-based ones. So for ratios for this, I like it. I like quite a bit of vinegar for this because it's rich. So I'm gonna do about two parts vinegar um, and one part soy sauce. You can start with one part of each. If you're making this for the first time and some of these ingredients are like, I don't know if I'm gonna like that. Start with one part of each, taste, blend it, taste it, and see what you like more of. What do you taste? Be present when you're tasting and like, is the salt level okay? Would I like it more acidic? Would I like it spicier? Would I like it sweeter, etc. Make sure you're, yeah, paying attention when you taste. You're not just tasting to be like, this tastes good or this tastes bad. You're tasting to be like, what am I tasting? And how can I adjust this to your taste? Because obviously I'm making this for my taste and I kind of know Brendan's taste too but uh, we all have different taste buds. So I can tell you how to do it perfectly and use my amounts, but it might, might not be like custom tailored for the way that you like to eat. Vermicelli, I mean, you could actually boil this. Like you could boil it in the water for like a minute, but this is just like quick, easy way. And then make sure you get all the noodles submerged. They'll kind of come apart pretty quick. Once you get them all apart, just make sure they're all in the water. There we go. Let those sit and we'll finish the sauce. So we got our liquid in. Put a little more soy sauce maybe. This is a light soy sauce, so. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna blend that. So our noodles are cooked and I'm just gonna drain these. Now there's two ways you can do this. If you're like doing this dinner time, it's not a heat wave and super hot like it is here. Um, you can just dress these as they are, as is, you know, if you got veggies or, or whatever else in there too, you can just dress it all while it's hot. You would just make the sauce a little bit ahead of time. Um, I'm going to cool these off because it's so hot. I kind of like to eat this like a cold dish. Um, but yeah, you're welcome to eat it hot. It's all preference. It's just so hot here today. It doesn't make sense to eat a bunch of hot noodles that are also spicy. So I'll just rinse them with cold water. And that's it, they're ready for us when we wanna finish our little salad. So, we got our aromatics blended. And now we're gonna add our thick ingredients, which I'm gonna do, you know, about 
tablespoon or so, about like, I would say one part to go with the rest of our recipe. Of gochujang, sorry. I didn't even say what this was. Gochujang, I've used this before in a couple of videos. I uh, used it in, what did I use it in? Fried rice. Um, yeah, so it's just a fermented hot pepper paste. It's got this like really effervescent fermented like quality. Um, it's not as spicy as you would think. Like I'm, I'm not amazing with spice. I know that sounds weird because I make chili oil, but um, this stuff is like not that spicy. It's like totally, totally tolerable. It just has this really like nice umami fermented chili flavor. So if you haven't tried it, try it. Don't be scared of it. It doesn't go bad. It's like fermented. So once it, once you open it, just pop it in the fridge. I've never seen it go bad. I'm sure it does, but I mean, I've definitely kept this in my fridge for like six months before and it never went bad. And then the other thick ingredient we're gonna use is just good old classic peanut butter. This is just a natural peanut butter. I wouldn't use any sweetened peanut butter. Um, just like it doesn't matter if it's crunchy or creamy because it's gonna get blended. And I would say one part of this as well. The fuck did I put that sugar? Oh. No, I have one that's open, right? Dude, I'm losing my mind. I thought I saw you put it back up there. I've tied it. I haven't. I saw. It. I mean, I have footage proof of what you did with it, but I don't know. <laughs> Is it? What, what? Oh, in there. There's sugar in there. That's not it. Oh, it's right here. Okay, back to business here. Yeah. Should you're putting more sugar in. Yeah, because I don't think I put enough. I don't know. It was kind of blocked out when I did the. You were just talking. Like I was just talking. Um, yeah, whatever. We'll taste it at the end and see. So yeah, blend this. Uh, it'll get a lot thicker with those thick ingredients in there. And I'm gonna slowly add like a little bit of sesame oil, maybe half a part. Okay, so it'll have this really nice color. And it'll have a nice consistency that will definitely like cling to noodles. And then just have a taste of it now and see what you need to adjust. So I need more soy for sure because it needs salt. So I'm going to do a bit of that. I also, the spice is perfect for me, but I actually think it could be a bit richer. So I'm going to add a little bit of peanut butter. And yeah, this is the thing, like this is why I don't measure anything is because I don't wanna, I don't want them to be like perfect recipes that that's not, to me, that's not valuable the way I learn. Like obviously not everyone learns like me, but just like fixing it in front of the camera shows that like, that's how easy it is. You just do it. It's just as much as like showing up and putting in a little bit of effort. So I'm gonna do that. If you prefer a different type of vinegar, I would say the ones you can switch out here are rice vinegar and white wine vinegar. Tastes good. That's it. So, um, cause it's hot, I just want like something kind of cold and refreshing. Actually, Brendan had a surprise birthday party like a couple weeks ago and I made this and a few other things for everyone. And I think these, it seemed like this was the most popular, right? But I don't know. I mean, this is all popular. You got, this is the, had the most leftovers, so you ate this for a while after, <laughs> probably. I'm probably really sick of it, but. Nice. Yeah, I like like just crisp, crunchy um, bean sprouts in this. They're really like refreshing, light. They don't take too much from the flavor. We could also do like some thinly sliced cucumber in here. And then I'm just gonna toss it very much like a salad. You can do whatever you want with the garnishes. I wanted to just kind of show it as pure as possible. So I'm just gonna garnish with some sesame and more peanuts today. But yeah, it's like definitely worth a bit of prep, I think. It's like way better than eating those instant noodles that are like deep fried and kind of gross. So. Little vermicelli salad. Put some of these bean sprouts on top. Is that a bee or something? It's a large fly. Watch for this dude. Oh fuck. Got him. Whatever, dude. Yeah, I'm an action star. Yeah, I fucking watch Jason say the movies and shit. It's like okay, so garnish. 
classic. I've used these many times. I always got these on hand. Some crushed peanuts. Sesame seeds. I'm gonna put a little chili oil on here. Oh shit. Okay. Down. Okay, so that was like, I mean, I talked a lot, but honestly, that's like a dish that comes together in, let's say like 10 minutes. Um, and now I also have like a full liter of sauce for the rest of the week. So um, if I make rice, if I make more noodles, um, I could honestly like use this in some soup. I, I wanna like show how to like make, uh, not just like a sauce for this dish, but like now we have a sauce that once you taste it and figure out where you like it and you make it to your liking that you can use it other ways too. So it's worth doing the prep. You're not just doing all this work, which is not even all that much work. It's like 10 minutes. This, this took under 10 minutes. Um, so you're not doing that much work and like look what you get out of it. A whole liter of sauce. That's better than anything you can buy at the store. And you have all the rest of these ingredients to make more and more and more. So it's so worth it to just put a little bit of time and effort into learning to cook. That's all I want people to do. There's less and less people cooking than ever. And I just think it's an essential skill to be able to feed yourself. So thanks for watching as always. Um, if you have some more requests or uh, things you'd like to see, um, if you like the quicker stuff, let me know. And if you want to see some like more intricate stuff, I'm, I'm down to do it all. I just want to show and help and, and show people how to use some technique. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I will see you in the next one. See ya.